Okay, switching gears, we're going to go back over here to our motor on off. We're looking at the runtime of the furnace. Uh, what we're going to do is really kind of filter the data here and make it a little more meaningful rather than looking at each individual data point. What you're going to do is highlight the series, come up to edit, and go down to filter. Uh, the filter here gives you a couple different options. Percentage high, percentage low is basically percentage on, percentage off, seconds on, seconds off. Um, this is kind of nice here where if you're going to uh, calculate uh, runtime, you can export that, do a calculation, and get your exact uh, time on and time off per an interval uh, in Excel. For this case, we're just going to look at the percentage of on time. You can change your description here. And you can change your time frame, whether this is per hour or per day. I'm going to look at it per day. You can also change this too. So if you want to look at it, say at a seven, seven day time frame. From here, you're going to hit OK. It's now filtered your data. And basically, it will give you a new data point up here. Um, it does it at midnight. And uh, what we end up with is the percentage of on time uh, for January 29th. I'm sorry, February 29th. Uh, was 17% and yes that was a leap year um, <laughs> so we can come on down here to uh, March 1st and then it gives us another data point here of 16% uh, if you choose to just want to look at it might be a little easier to to look at it this way uh, you can highlight your data points we can also come in here and uh, remove uh, the raw data if you so choose, so it'll make it maybe a little easier for you to look at. What that has now done is taken out the individual data, and as you can see here in the, in the spreadsheet view up here, it's not really kind of taking you, your time and combined it all, uh, and basically grouped everything in. and. As you can see here, finally in uh, May, it finally got warm, so we could uh, turn, the, turn the furnace off here for a while. From here, of course, you can export your data, or uh, you can also save this uh, as a project file. And this will allow you to come back to it and uh, basically add on to your data file as time goes on.